We are going to create the add note activity for our room database application. Hello guys, my name is Abbas and welcome to Master Coding channel. In this tutorial, we will continue with the complete Android developer course and we will learn about Android Jetpack architecture component, which is room. Now, if this is your first time here, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss the, uh, the new tutorials. We are creating these tutorials based on your request. So feel free to comment below if you have any questions, any tutorials you want us to make, or just for saying thanks. So let's begin making our add note activity. We jump into Android Studio, so I'm going to add at the level of the app Gradle file uh, implementation for material design 1.1.0. And I will sync now so we can add the features uh, for our layouts. Now let's create a, the new activity, empty activity and I will call it add note activity. So add note activity here and this is the layout for it. In order to save time and make the new the, the, the layouts very fast, I will copy and paste the only the layouts because they are uh, because no need for uh, for illustrating them uh, because we ha uh, the source code will be available uh, to download into uh, uh, onto the the comments below. Now, I'm going to create a text field input type layout using the material design that we have implemented below and I will paste it and here is the code. So, what I have done is pasting this little code. The code okay ignore missing constraints okay if we click on this we will see the layout is added successfully. So this is for text input the text input file field for that title. So the title will have this layout. Now, you can pause the video at this level and copy and paste the codes uh, below. Now, I will copy for the content layout that the user will uh, enter the content of uh, the, the note that we will add. So I will create this linear layout having the, uh, an ID text input, having a text input also, text input two, and we have the, the uh, input text, edit text, input layout as previously done. And its ID is edit text underscore content. Now, the button, the button uh, we have added at the button and the background, I will change it and I will, and I will see for adding like this. So if we look on the layout, we see that we have added. Okay, they are It is missing the constraints and don't worry, we will remove the constraints. I will change the size. Okay, because it is a constraint layout, we can change it. So, text input here we can see and adjust the content of the edit text whatever we need 
Okay, I will make a relative layout. A relative layout despite using the the code here I will change here and I will make the orientation also vertical now I will change here the relative relative layout let's see and here we go we have done making the relative layout we can also use the constraint but because we are using the linear layouts inside uh, inside the the the, um, the the layout like this i prefer using the relative layouts okay we have done using the uh, layouts so as a final look out you can pause the video and copy and paste the code this is the first layout or the first line and the second layout linear layout having like this and also having the bottom and this is the the end of the linear layout and the relative layout so the relative layout contains the two linear layouts or text input layout and the linear layout now back to the java code here we come now as i uh, as we uh, uh, like uh, mentioned before we will start by variables here to define to define uh, the text input the widgets and the other objects a private we'll start by private text input we'll start by uh, defining the widget text input is a text in the text i will say uh, uh, et underscore title and et underscore content okay guys it's very simple we have created two other text the first one is a title and the second one is the content now let's create the objects if you remember before we have created uh, we have created a node database uh, class we will get in this way the object of node database uh, class now also getting the node which is the which is the model as an entity and we import it and i will create a variable private boolean update okay till now we have two objects and two variable uh, two uh, variables and let's uh, start creating and initializing the widgets so first of all we will initialize the widgets uh, guys if you have any questions please comment it below just uh, uh, tell us at what minute or what uh, what idea you don't understand and we can uh, contact you and uh, clarify it okay don't uh, miss uh, to download master android from uh, uh, master android application and master android uh, pro applications from play store and master flutter and soon we will release the master coding application that will contain all uh, all coding programs and uh, programming languages so uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest tutorials and the latest uh, updates. Okay, we are uh, we are defining here the widgets, and we still have the bottom. We didn't uh, we didn't uh, define find view by ID r dot id dot button save. Okay. I will import the package, import the library of the button 
here I I need to to define the widgets okay till now we are doing fine now objects initializing the objects also we have finished declaring the widgets and defining the widgets initializing them and uh, the objects we have created and uh, initiated it uh, initialize and we are now uh, uh, declaring and initialize the node database which refers us for the room database so in order to get an instance of it add node activity dot this we are getting an instance for for of this uh, database for in our in our activity so now checking for the note in the notes database check for correct object and date we will start by if note since we are getting an object of the node we need to check the node node object get intent dot get serializable extra and called note you remember we have created before uh, before in the uh, in the previous video about the database so we will get the support action bar dot set title update note update boolean will be now true button dot so text update so when the user is updating the uh, button will set to be updated and the et title et underscore title will set the text node dot get title and et content will set the text node get content okay everything is good now let's add our handling uh, bottom click events so when the user will click the button well there uh, there is an action to be uh, there is an action that would be executed now we will handle the, the click events so what we need for that application to do when the application when the user will click the button we need it to update or or create a new node so in order to do that we will start by adding the set on click listener new view on click listener okay if the user if we need if we need to update the note so the the application will check if the update is true when the update when the update boolean here is true go and get the note uh, object and set the content to et underscore content dot get text to string so get the next uh, the new string and set it for uh, the uh, 
for the new text and go and get the title et title dot get text and to string go and get the text from et title and set the title for the updated node as this one so and node database object would be get note there dot update note note so go and update the note and set the results set results set result note and flag two or data two okay we will set the results just uh, in uh, in uh, one minute okay now else note equal new note it the content dot get text to string it the title dot get text dot to string okay everything is working fine and we will insert new insert task this is then this is these are the uh, two functions that we are going to create in the next uh, minutes so add note activity to this we are passing the context and the note object and dot, dot execute okay we need now to uh, make the insert task and the set result ta tasks or a method here we remove the spaces okay till now we are good and we remove are going outside their own create a method so let's create the set results method please guys if you don't understand anything please contact us uh, comment below if you have any questions so we will reply as fast as possible to help you note and flag okay we are passing the flag set result flag we are here overriding the, the integrated method uh, of the android and we are putting here the intent We are importing the intent and put extra and we pass the note and the flag notes click finish okay everything is working fine now let's add the insert task and see how it will work adding the last method so this method will uh, will uh will requires attention from you to understand all its concepts so private uh, we are going to create the insert task 
private static class insert task extends async task we are going to use the async task to do some work at, uh, on on the background thread okay guys so if you want the source code you can download it really private week week reference add add node activity activity week reference and we create the private node note okay guys only retain a weak a reference reference to the activity i like to comment to know and to ensure that you understand everything so only retain insert task method add note activity context and the note note activity weak reference equal new weak reference context and this dot note equal note now let's move to the next boolean function okay do in background methods runs on a worker thread if you need to know about the threads on uh, you can go to uh, master android master android pro applications found on play store and then download it and see the uh, the worker thread and the main thread and the background threads and learn about everything about Android. This is our uh, official application. So we will override, we are going to override here by clicking Alt or Insert and override method. And we will select do on background, do in background. So this is, this is the do in background function and return true and here we start we start retrieving auto incremented incremented data or node id since we have defined in the previous videos about a define the auto increment uh, annotation for uh, for us for the this uh, id database dot get node dot insert node we are passing the node into the deal and node dot set node id to j so here we are generating the auto increment uh, ID for that and we are returning and we are returning true. And this is in this way we have finished the boolean function and we still have a last th small th uh, method we are going to override is called on post execute so click alt plus insert override methods 
and on post execute post execute we remove it if a boolean is true go and execute the following activity with reference that get dot set results or set the result note and passing the flag one activity with reference dot get dot finish everything is working fine in this way we have finished the note activity so as a uh, quick recap we have created the layout we have created the, uh, the widget the variables uh, two, uh, three widgets uh, edit the input text input uh, edit text uh, et title and et content and the button we have created a boolean called update we have created uh, the objects of a note and note database so we have uh, the note the uh, database which is a reference for us as a room database and the note which is the entity class or the mobile class we have instantiated it the widgets the object and we have checking for the correct object and data entry we have added the functionals for the button to see if we need to update the button or we have to create a new create a new uh, note so then we have setting the results inserting an as async task we have created an async task assign task uh, inside this uh, insert data method we have an insert task and we have the do in background uh, method and we have on post execute till now we have created the add note activity uh, i hope you subscribe and uh, subscribe to our channel master coding channel and like our videos and comment below if you have any questions or any requests you need us to make. Thank you guys. See you in next videos.